the weeds. Hey Jarvis, this is Jar and welcome to my journey. Nandito tayo ngayon para mag-work from home. Be part of my journey. Alam natin na dahil sa pandemic na ito, sobrang dami na ng mga employees na ngayon nag-work na from home. Dahil 3 years ko nang ginagawa to, I have some tips and tricks and gusto ko i-share sa inyo yung mga routines and just my overall thoughts about working from home especially during this pandemic and obviously being able to work from home is already a great privilege which I am very thankful for. Pagka-graduate ko pa lang, work from home na. Except na lang syempre pagka mayroong mga auditions or mayroong mga shoots. But for the most part, especially as a vlogger, I basically have been working from home ever since. You have the full story and para malaman kung paano tayo napunta sa mismong point in time na ito sa aking work, let's go back to the beginning. After having my beauty sleep, I wake up at usually around 7.30 a.m. Tapos, I start with my morning routine. I check the time on my phone, check notifications, scroll through memes or something inspirational. Tapos tulog ulit. <laughs> Ikot-ikot sa kama ng mga 10 to 20 more minutes bago pilitin yung sarili na bumangon and actually start my day. I make my bed and then diretso ako sa CR para umihi kasi feeling ko mag explode na yung bladder ko. Oh, that sense of relief. And I wash my face to feel refreshed. Tapos diretso sa pag-brush ng teeth. Siyempre, gusto natin mo wala ang ating morning breath. What the world to start the day? And of course, drink your water. Dahil siyempre, ilang oras tayong nanunuyot sa ating pagtulog. So, ang pag ng tubig ay nakakatulong para malubricate ang ating internal organs. I highly suggest drinking water. Oh, and hey, there you are on top of three jugs. Hi! After that, I turn on my meditation music and just feel relaxed, feel the nature, feel the birds chirping, and then I start my stretching. I cannot stretch this enough how much we need a morning stretch. <laughs> I usually do a 15 minute stretch and you can check more of that out up there and in the description box below. Para sa mga taong hindi nago workout ang pag workout, this is the workout routine for you. And then I also just calm my mind, be one with the universe, and do some meditation. And ang pagme-meditate, wala namang correct way to do it eh. Alam niyo yun? There are different ways on how you can meditate and you can even use your own. Ah, there's no specific rules on how to meditate, on what to think, on how to use your hands. You can do it the Buddha way or you can do it the Spider-Man way. It's all up to you. As long as it centers you and aligns you with the universe. Same with stretching because it's like a way for you to start your day. It's like waking up your muscles. Tuwing ginagawa ko to, talagang I feel more energized and ready to start the day. Kaysa yung dadiretso lang ako sa trabaho nang hindi ko to ginagawa. I'm telling you, if mas madalas mo tong ginagawa, mas masasana yung katawan mo at hahanapin na rin ito ng katawan mo hanggang sa maging routine mo na to and you're gonna feel rejuvenated. Eating time! I usually go for something either healthy, not so healthy, something sweet, or the cereal. <laughs> then my drink is either tea, water, or this natural coffee na amoy XO at lasang iced coffee ng makdo because you could drink this either cold or hot. Tapos meron pa siyang natural ingredients that have active herbs that include green coffee, moringa seed, and mangosteen which is my favorite fruit that helps boost your immune system. Oh, there you are! Hi! What I love the most about this is that hindi ako nagpapalpitate when I drink this. So kung ayaw mo na rin tumibok yung puso mo sa maling tao, I mean, mean coffee. At gusto mong manalo na tong giveaways na to, I'm giving away two packs with 10 sachets each. To win, all you have to do are the following. The first 50 who will buy from them will get this free mug as well. Cheers! And then I would do something that would make my creative juices flow. Like play the ukulele and sing. Read. Drawing inspiration from nature or painting. Shower time! Then 
the actual work begins by writing my video treatment. Pero before that, sinusulat ko muna sa planner ko yung mga plans ko for the day and even for the week. On my personalized notebook, I write my video treatment, which is basically the flow of my vlog. For my tampon vlog, this is what I did, and then the paint that I used, I smudged it all over the page. For something like the freedom of speech vlog, I just ko lang lahat ng nasa isip ko, tapos na numberan ko siya base sa kung paano ko siya sa sabihin sa vlog. After all that writing, it's makeup time. Means an edit day, means an shoot day, means an sabay. Putting on makeup and making yourself look put together is the best feeling in the world when you've been home and feeling kind of blech. Putting on your kilay even if you're just going to the kitchen makes you feel like you can conquer the world and do so much more. But you know, each to their own. Whatever floats your boat, do your thing. That's just me and that's what I do. I usually don't put powder anymore but I obviously overuse this eyeliner. Girl! Mm? <laughs> Nilagay ko rin yung post-it that says enjoy the process while I'm doing my makeup because it just reminds me to enjoy the process of what I'm doing and I just think it's the perfect spot. Enjoy the process, sir. Enjoy the process. And face is done. And now we're here. It's time to sew everything we've shot together. Let me talk to you about how long I edit. Okay. With rough cut to adding details to adding music to adding pictures and all of that zooming in it takes me around 10 to up to 18 hours. Hindi pa kasama don yung pag nagshoot ako or location or yung pag makeup pag susula, everything. Siguro kung i add ko lahat yon. It takes me around 25 to 30 hours to make one vlog. If that ain't a full job, I don't know what is. You know, I try as much as possible to be productive. I've been doing this vlog for four days now and usually my dogs. Usually it takes me three days to finish a vlog. One day for shooting, that's two days for editing. Pero ngayon, it took me way longer than expected. And the reason for that is because I was feeling kind of meh for a lot of the days this week. Parang pinipilit ko yung sarili ko magtrabaho pero minsan talaga, alam mo yun, parang Hindi talaga kaya today, Besh. Pero you know what? Tapat hindi rin kasi natin binibit up yung sarili natin. If we don't feel like we're being productive, especially ngayong may pandemic. Why? Because based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we're kind of stuck in the safety area. And that's like the second level. Nahihirapan tayo na umakyat sa mga levels na yun. I mean, we try, especially with like the sense of belongingness. Kaya tayo nag zoom calls with our friends, our co-workers, and even relatives na medyo malayo sa atin. And yung pag-reach natin ng self-actualization, medyo na udlot or medyo nagahanap tayo ng different way for us to reach that. Kaya marami na sa atin na nag online selling kasi syempre, nagahanap ng iba't ibang way Para ma reach yung top, which is basically our dreams and goals in life. Just like my dad, who is now selling his book. As in, sila ng mom ko yung gumagawa ng lahat ng logistics. Sila yung nag-aasikasa ng delivery. So, if you want to buy his book, I will leave the details in the description box below. And also, you can message him on his Facebook page. I would actually like to hear from your work from home experience. Gusto ko marinig yung mga stories nyo from work from home and paano kayo nagkukop, kung may routine ba kayo, ano yung mga routine nyo, tsaka paano kayo nag from being in the office to working from home because as someone who's been working from home medyo nahirapan din ako mag transition na full on work from home na yung gagawin ko kasi minsan nag audition nga rin ako and also when I have shoots I just want to show you where you're at right now you are actually on top of my bed na nasa floor so ito yung table ko na side table ko and then that's literally my bed. And then yan, may ilaw lang ako. That's where we're at. If gusto niyo malaman kung paano ako nag edit as in like the whole full how-to of it and like tips and like what music I use and all that jazz, comment them down below. And I'll do that for you if you want to see that. This is my office and yes, it's a sofa kasi gusto ko lagi nakataas yung paa ko. And obviously, gamit na gamit na siya. This area might look familiar if you watch my dad's videos on Facebook because this is exactly where he does it too. So just a little fun fact for ya. Usually after working for a while, I would get my afternoon slump and I would just usually play a game. I want to buy plants. <gasps> oh, they're so pretty. Eat 
something like this pancake and I would love mayonnaise on it and lots of cheese. Yes, sir. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or watch something. Hi. Or creating my inspirational post-its and posting it all over the house. I painted through everything that I'm feeling onto the canvas. It felt great. I actually asked some of my college blockmates slash friends and here's some of what they said. So Thea said that she's coping well and working from home is her preferred method of working and feeling it then most productive siya while working at home. But then Blanche said that na she's hard siya because she wants separation from work and from home and that nakakadagdag ang work from home sa kanya anxiety and also nahihirapan siya to motivate herself to be fit kasi usually her commute is one of her ways to staying fit pero sabi rin naman niya that she's able to do things na hindi niya nagagawa before dahil mas maraming time ngayon such as tumugtog ng instrument, magbake, or magbasa one tip she gave just like Pat did and I use this too try to separate your workspace from any other space in the house parang kukunyari sa harap ng computer dun yung workspace mo and like everything you're gonna do there is work related. Sabi rin ni Pat na nakatulong daw yung pag work from home sa pagtitipid sa budget. Kasi hindi mo na kailangan mag-commute tsaka hindi mo na kailangan kumain sa labas. Pero medyo nahirapan mag-communicate with the co-workers since syempre mas maganda pa rin pagka real life kaysa online ang mga meetings. Pero syempre we gotta work with what we have. It's best if meron pa rin time management and also according to Claire, Dapat may routine and it's good to have a to-do list. That's why I really believe in still using your planner kahit nasa bahay lang tayo. And it's great that in their company, they're applying a work-from-home policy just like what other companies are doing as well. And also, definitely, it's important to acknowledge that it's okay not to be okay, especially during this pandemic. Minsan, we might feel like we're productive, pero minsan, parang tamad tayo. And that's completely okay. Okay. okay? Just like what I said with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, safety is really important. And dahil may pandemic ngayon, obviously we don't feel as safe as we did before it happened. And so we're just trying to figure things out while this whole thing is happening. Mahirap. Mahirap talaga. But also we just have to make the most of what we have and, you know, try as much as possible to push ourselves to still do what we need to do. Other side naman nun is not trying and I'd rather try and I know it's easier said than done pero minsan kailangan talaga natin especially if we have deadlines at work and all that like in the words of Reina pag wala na siyang mapiga ka continue na lang kinabukasan unless kapag asap kailangan so aha ha piga piga girl <laughs> for Reina at first it was sort of like a breather since ayun nawala ng work for a while you get to stay at home pero ayun hindi na pwedeng hayahay na lang kasi after a while, kinailangan pa rin magtrabaho. I personally believe that being holistically productive means taking care of every aspect of your life which includes, you know, being with family and still getting rest, being able to sleep, talking to your friends, doing hobbies, and working. And so, kailangan lahat yun nagagawa natin and hindi lang yung puro work lang tayo ng work. After all the work that I've done for the day, I would just clean my face and feel refreshed and then I would reward myself by eating Kit Kat and watching a movie or a series. I would end my day writing on my gratitude journal. Basically, ang ginagawa lang dito is magsusulat ka ng mga bagay that you're thankful for for the day. I write three every day. Kahit gano man kalaki yan or kaliit na bagay na you're thankful for, nakakatulong kasi to para makita natin yung mga blessings natin in life rather than dwelling on the negatives. <laughs> Yes, I make it seven, seven And usually, kapag nagsusulat na ako dito, nare-realize ko na, ah, o oh, nga pala, nangyari nga pala yun sa araw ko. It's the weeds! Woo! Ang sarap lang na ma-realize mo yun within your day kasi minsan nakakalimutan natin yung mga ganong bagay. Pero actually, kung isipin natin, marami rin palang mga gandang nangyari sa araw natin. And this just helps me keep track of those. Plus, the more you focus on your blessings, the more blessings will come to you too. That's law of attraction for ya. After all that work, now it's time for our beauty rest. Thank you for being a part of my journey. See ya! Para malaman kung paano tayo mismo napunta sa point in time of ano? What, sir? Do it the Buddha way or you can do it the Spider-Man way. It's all up to you. For something like the freedom of speech vlog, I would just... For something like... Para naman... 
for some, mm, I would basically just write everything down. Tapos pagkatapos, tapos pagkatapos, jer. Mm, I cannot stretch it enough to. <laughs> Wait, natawa ako sa nilikan joke. 